one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, I hope you can hear me on my laptop. I hear myself. Yeah, awesome. Uh, okay, hello everybody. So uh, I think it's still says testing in top color. I didn't. Uh, I think the arena is frozen. I didn't do very well because I couldn't solve the medium problem. I didn't know how to use grandy numbers then there. And I'm not sure about my heart problem, so we'll see. Uh, okay, I would right now open anything, but the arena doesn't let me. Mm. So right now you can only see what I tried to like do and examine in the heart problem because I did it on my computer. And I tried to solve it for one dimension and I like printed all the tests for which the the distance uh, sorry for which the answer is false so all the tests for which the first player loses and there is some pattern in those with humming distances I tried to google that but uh, it wasn't uh, I couldn't solve it so I guess I overthought it uh, Okay, I think now I can open my problems. Uh, so let's start with the easiest one. Some somebody said said we have Google Kickstart in twenty minutes. Well, uh, that's bad luck. But fortunately, you will be able to watch me later like, in video on YouTube. Uh, so I will start from the easiest problem. The statement was given. Per perimeter and area find any triangle with integer integer coordinates that satisfies those conditions and coordinates uh, coordinates could be only up to 3000 actually up to 1000 because uh, well uh, okay coordinates could be up to 3000 and uh, you could use the fact that there are not so many Mm, possible segments so for if there is some pair of points uh, the distance between them uh, must be integer in this uh, in this problem it's quite hard to prove I think because what we have to prove is that if this if the distance isn't integer then the sum of the three distances will not be integer uh, so it will be of form square root of some number and the like lemma would be to prove that the sum of three square roots couldn't be integer if those aren't integers so actually here we should uh, find all the possible vectors I thought about them as vectors so all the possible segments so pairs of um, distances a and b so um, x and y coordinate such that the sum of those squares will be a square of an integer number so basically we try to find uh, Pythagorean triples and I just found all of them and printed their number and it turned out that it's at most 3000 of them so instead of complexity 1000 square we only get something like 1000 and now if you have those few thousands possible vectors you just iterate over let's say the first vector so the first segment and then over the second segment to choose so then we have the whole triangle and we can check if the third segment the third remaining segment is also integer length and whether the area is as required and the, uh, to compute the area, it's easier. It's easiest to use uh, the cross product. So uh, you can see cross product here in my code. 
Uh, somebody asked which plugin is it? I don't use any plugins, I just use Topcoder Arena. Uh, if you have any questions about this problem, you can ask them, and otherwise we will move to the hard problem. It said that the contest is over and it doesn't say sys testing anymore, but I don't see anybody with failed sys tests, so I guess it isn't refreshed. Uh, so I still I'm still not sure about my about my heart. Um, where am I now? I'm in my home in Warsaw. Uh, okay, uh, regarding the hard problem, I think the best possible way to solve it is to is was to had d times t complexity. Okay, but first let's talk about the problem for those who didn't read the statement. Uh, so we had a car that was supposed to drive along a road road segment line, and it was supposed to Mm, drive some integer distance up to uh, some integer distance up to thirty thousand, and uh, it had to do it in exactly time given total time, also up to thirty thousand. And you could only speed up in integer moments of time, and only by integer number of kilometers uh, per hour. So, for example, if you speed up by A in the very first moment and we want to drive for exactly T seconds, then for sure uh, we will drive thanks to this T times A. And the question was, what is the minimum possible number of fuel we should use? And to speed up by A, you have to use A square fuel. And so it was like it was obvious you could solve it with in with dynamic programming in some very bad complexity like mm, thirty thousands cubic, and I saw called by Neil da, uh, Neil Wu, where he allowed himself to have complexity t times d, I think plus something very small, uh, so I think his complexity is thirty thousand square. I didn't try to challenge him, but for sure it isn't a very fast program, but with Topcoder you should be able to do something like 1 billion operations, so if he passes I think he has the simplest possible solution. And his solution is to do dynamic programming, uh, so we want to cover distance d up to 30,000, and um, we know that we can speed up at some moment with uh, acceleration one. The cost of this will be one, and we will get some distance. And then we can also um, we can speed by the next unit, and it will cost additional three. So from one you will move to four cost, and so on. And the observation is that uh, we will not will do not uh, we will not do many operations of uh, iterations of that. At some moment we should stop uh, because it doesn't make sense to speed up a lot at some ver at one place. Uh, so let's move. I will move to my solution that also uses that observation but isn't that smart and I failed system test so maybe it isn't a good idea for me to talk about my solution uh, but like uh, yeah your heart is failed yeah I know so I will not discuss it I can also say that I saw Pat with some constant is in his code uh, 
So I also wonder about his solution. And since, as I said in Code Forces, I will discuss this round only if I do well, and I didn't do well, I will just move to top coder open problems uh, from this year. Uh, it's quite hard to move around top coder websites. So I every time Google problem, problem archive in top coder and let's solve some, mm, some top coder open problems. Mm, starting from maybe round four, the most recent one. Um, Okay, let's start with actually wild card, wild card round because I still remember problem and hard problem was actually quite easy to solve. Uh, so you can read the statement. Mm, a question for you, do you have like a screen flicking? Like, uh, are there any issues with video right now? I see them on my laptop. And you can read this problem. Uh, I will post link in chat. Uh, yeah, video is glitchy. I'm not sure why is that. Uh, maybe I will st for a moment stop recording and run it again. I'm not sure, but I see it's visible, just not pleasant. Uh, so, if you want me, I can start to, I can try restarting uh, the stream. I'm not sure if it will help. And in the meantime, I will like show you this problem. So it's called palindromic subsequences, and it was the hardest problem in wildcard round. Uh, but I think it was easier than that. I think people solved it fast. The organizers didn't see some simple solution. And what was the, uh, the statement? The statement was, we are given two strings, A and B, both with length up to 60. It's very important, constant. Uh, and we are asked about the number of distinct non-empty strings that are subsequences of both and there are palindromes. So basically we can also say that we are looking for subsequence in the first string that they are palindromes and they also uh, occur in the next string. And actually it's a like, class of problems, you solve them similarly. Uh, where we are asked about the number of distinct strings instead of just the number of occurrences of some subsequences. And uh, the approach usually should be to try to, like if you know a string and that should be a subsequence and you want to check if it's indeed a subsequence, uh, you just do it greedily. Mm trying to find the first occurrence of the first letter, then the closest occurrence of the second letter and so on. Uh, so I see people asking for restarting. Let's